we lived on, I don't know what would you call it, but something like a plantation to me. It belonged to several different white people. They all were family, I guess, and you couldn't leave. And if you did leave, they either come get you or or have somebody kill you or whatever, whatever. That's what, that, that's what happened. What they do to your mother? They just had my mother, you know, the white men. You know, they, they, they just do what they wanted to do with her. And uh, I just wasn't big enough to do nothing. If I would have been, I don't know, probably wouldn't be. And this was in the 1950s or 40s? That was on through the 40s, in the 50s, all through the 50s, and part of the 60s. So what would the repercussions be if you tried to leave or if you tried to refuse what they wanted? Back in them days, it's, 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 it was kind of like you had to do what the white man said or I'd get killed. My dad and uncle, they made him dig a grave and kill him. <laughs> the they killed him and buried him in his own grave. Jerry Dawson, they killed him. He lived around the same place we lived at home. He left and said he wasn't coming back. They wouldn't got him. Brought him back, cut him right down there from his house, killed him. Hung him up in a tree. They hung him? They killed him first, casterized him, and hung him up right from his house where his children, everybody could see him. Were you aware that, this is 1940s, 1950s, that insane. Um, Arthur, this is, this is, this breaks my heart to hear this story. Um, growing up, did you, were you fully aware, this is in the 40s and 50s, you know, the civil rights movement is just about to begin. Were you aware of what was going on in the rest of the country at that time for black people pursuing freedom? No. You weren't aware at all that this was there was any pursuits for freedom in the 40s and 50s for us? No, not really. 